Ja. Już <grym> ja. Coś w jest. Is this the self content you're telling me about? <laughs> who who gave you money to buy all this? My sweet baby coins. Well, I told him about the self content. He said, no way. That his sweetheart cannot stay in such a place. When he could um, buy her one of these blocks of flats. And so he he bought you this bungalow? <laughs> Furnished to my taste. With a million naira money. What? <laughs> Wait, did I hear you say one million naira? Mm-hmm. No, no, no. Huh. Now that's a joke, right? No, girl, seriously. Collins is so caring. He is so loving. He spoils me with attention. If I sneeze, he is there. He, he wants to know if I'm hot. And then when I cough, he is there with concern as if he were to play. Did you not see something outside when you were coming in? Let me show you the test case. His wedding gift to me will be like wedding. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so when is the wedding taking place? This is time. That's in three months' time, right? Exactly. Hey, Pamela, tell me now, eh? Tell me, how do you girls get all these rich guys? Because all I seem to get are wretched imposters. Who can even afford a common phone card? <laughs> you won't believe this one. The other day, that one they called James. He had the guts. Without fear, he came to me and said I should borrow him money. You don't say. That idiot. Do you know when he was toasting me? He made me believe he was some oil merchant. Only for me to find out that he was nothing but, but a common attendant in a filling station. <laughs> can you imagine? Well, girl, what about um, Paul? Oh, you, 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 you said he was all right. Which poor? Please don't even go there. Don't even go there. I mean, look at you now. Look at, look at this house. Just look at, look at the car. These are the things your guys got for you. What about me? All I get for that idiot are excuses, stories. And he's still asking me to have patience. Can you imagine? How long will this patience last for? I don't know. Girl. Maybe you should. You never can tell. Maybe his mind is on marriage. Marry him. Marry me. God forbid. Look, Pamela, it's enough. Don't insult me again. Don't insult me. Do you know that I asked that thing to give me just 25,000 naira to go and get my clothes from the tailor? Pamela, as I'm talking with you today, one cover I haven't seen from that line. And yet you asked me to go and marry you. Is you, you marry you? God, I don't even know why I'm so unlucky. I don't understand. Michelle, yeah, girl. I just hope I'm not being cursed. Don't say that. <laughs> no, it's not a laughing matter. No. Very serious. <laughs>
that is not what it is. The scan is your meeting. Daisy. Darling, how are you? I made your favorite. Oh, how thoughtful of you. You are very hungry. Don't worry, you eat some. Right. It's my very good friend, Lucia. Lucia, this is my baby cousins. How do you do? How do you do? Let's go eat. To understand what are you talking about? I mean, I don't know where this relationship is leading us. Why are you saying this? Because you know that I love you, and when the time comes, you and I will be the happiest couple ever. Happiest couple? How? When? You claim to love me. Have you ever been able to express that love materially? Oh, come on, Lucia. I don't have to quantify love in material terms. I mean, I don't have to, I don't have to buy them or rings and gold watches just to prove that I love you. I am a woman. And I have needs. Now tell me, what am I doing in a relationship when my man is not able to stand up to my needs? Yet you expect me to be faithful to you. Why are you talking like a child, Lucia? Pamela just got a car and a cozy apartment from her boyfriend. Jessica just got a self-contained, well-furnished, with a flat screen TV from her boyfriend. Now Judith just left for London. And that now shuttles between Italy and Dubai, courtesy of the money the boyfriend gave her to improve her boutique business. But you, if I ask you to give me just 30,000 naira to buy, come on, we charge cards. <laughs> Stories spring up from all nooks and crannies. But, but you don't have to compare me with all those people. We're not the same, for goodness sake. All fingers are not equal. Oh, yes! Our fingers are not equal. Why do I have to end up with the shortest finger? <sighs> you know what? I think we should give ourselves a break. What? We should give ourselves a break. <laughs> oh, come on. Be reasonable, Russia. Oh, give ourselves a break. Just because I'm not filling your handbag with money? <laughs> come on, you, why you speak? Speaking like a prostitute. I have now become a prostitute because you have refused to live up to your responsibilities, right?
That was how I got Collins to see me as a wife, Matilda, in the first place. So you mean these things really work? <laughs> of course, girl. You know Collins used to have lots of girlfriends. I wasn't even on his top, on the top of his list. That was before I went to Baba for help. I, I know you, you told me this some time ago, but you know, Pamela, the thing is, are you, are you very sure, I mean, are you really sure of everything? Like, like what? Like, you know, are you sure of the fact that maybe one day, look, let's say like a day to your wedding, this guy's eyes clears off <laughs> and he calls up the wedding. <sighs> That will never happen. You see, every Wednesday I go to Baba to renew the charms. Collins is mine. No one, I repeat, no one can take him away from me. Uh, uh, you, you seem to have um, a lot of confidence in this Baba. With Baba, I dig, can't be. Uh? No, seriously, girl. Baba's insurance is, um, it can never fail. You know, I am telling you this because you're my girl, you're my best friend, and I know you will always have my back. Uh oh, but of course I'll always watch your back. Of course. Ah, Pamela, I am happy for you. Look at you now, eh? Ha. You're yeah, all this good though. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just here now, praying for the day God will give me my own miracle. Yours is on the way. Amen. Hmm. Lucia. Are you sure of what you just told me inside? <laughs> of course I will not come all the way just to fool around. When I know this is a situation of life and death. I hope it is not true. Because if it is, that girl is finished. I will not just call off our forthcoming wedding, I will get her arrested. Uh, why don't you just hold on so we can go there together? Uh, no, 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 I can't. I, look, you have to hurry and go there. But you have to make sure you go there between 8 and 9. You'll see them, you'll catch them red-handed. Remember, this is about your life. It's not like I wouldn't want to come with you, but I can't. You know how it is. I'm just doing this for you, you know. If Pamela sees you and I together, of course she's going to turn her evil terms on me. And hey, I'm not ready for trouble. Okay. okay you know, so um, I've given you the direction to the place, right? I think you have a point there. Uh, I'll, I'll make sure I get there on time. Right. Make sure you get there on time. Thank you. to execute the court order of eviction and the recovery of the possession of this house. Officer, did I hear you correctly? Yes, you heard him, madam. This house has been sold legally a month ago by the owner. I think there's a mistake somewhere. You see, this house belongs to me. It was bought for me by my fiancé, Collins. The same Collins you call your fiancé sold this house a month ago. 
Wait, what is going on here? I mean, what is happening? <laughs> no, Lucia, I'm sure there's a mistake somewhere. They're, they're in, the, in the wrong house. Look, woman, I don't have all the time to waste with you. I advise you get in there, pack your things and leave immediately. Copra, sir, get in there and do your job. Yes, sir. Don't you guys are going to be very sorry. Don't, you don't know who you're messing with. What is it? You called the his office line. Can I be on to Collins? Madam, you have no access to this car anymore. It has been sold. Lucia, where are you going to? Mila, look, I'm sorry, okay? I beg. I don't want any police work. And let me just go to my house and stay up. I'm sure you guys are joking. You guys are going to be very sorry. You don't know who you are messing with. Sergeant, so give me the gun. Go in there and help him out. Of it, who is Lucy and Collins that they will break you apart like this? You have no idea the, the, the pain I'm going through right now. Yes, I do. But if you allow that pain to destroy you, you are giving an undeserved victory to Lucia in Ivo Act. I, I trust her. <laughs> and I let myself open to her. And that devil I called a friend. She used all she knows about me to tear my life apart. Well, in my own opinion, I think she's not as guilty as Fred. Yes, because any man that will leave you for your friend is not worth your tears. So clean those tears and believe that God will bring your true husband at the appropriate time. Am I making any progress? <laughs> This was someone I called my friend. I, I, I saw she was happy for me. <laughs> but little did I know that she was nothing but a chameleon. Pamela, it's okay. Why? It's okay. I'm telling you, it's okay. <laughs> Wipe those tears. <laughs> Let me go in and bring water for you to drink. I don't want to come back and meet you like this. Hello girl, what are you 
my girl was arguing about. Lucia, I, mean, I don't know what you're talking about. Mm. Because as for me, mm -hmm. Jesse, baby, mm -hmm. it is the guy that has cash mm -hmm. and lots of it that I will listen to. Period. <laughs> <laughs> when a guy has money, I call him Peperes at Yahoo.com. Correct. But when he's loaded with cash, I call him Peperes at Hotmail.com. <laughs> Give me a high five, girl. <laughs> For me, mm -hmm. a guy does not have to be a mobile central bank for me to go out with him. For Christ's sake, love matters. No. Okay, it's not. Hey, what is that? <laughs> Look, I am not like you girls anyway, so don't even try to indoctrinate me because <gasps> I'm not interested. Lisha, we know you're a lover girl. Fine. You can go on with those your pepperless. What do you call them? Pepperless at I love you. Dot com. <laughs> No minor. You will tire. Love, 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 love my What's up now? This one that you're like this. Are you not going to aerobics? So we can go and come with you. I knew what's up with you now. She said Mike is coming. To you. I don't know why he's keeping him. I don't know. I don't know why he's keeping him. Hi girls. Hi. Hi man. What's been keeping you? Traffic, man. Traffic. Hi, hi. You're welcome. Yeah, thanks. Mm. So, shall we? Please, wait. my friends like to come with us. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So, oh. Let me just quickly go in and, you know, put on my shoes. Uh, oh, wait. <laughs> So Mike, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. Good to know. Yeah. Good to know. <laughs> oh, Lucy, hurry, we're running late. girls mind if I buy you ice cream? We are watching our way, it's can to see. Yeah. But a little ice cream do not damage anyway. You just say you want ice cream. I want to eat ice cream. Good. How about you girls? Well, we'll burn it up next Saturday. Uh, okay. Cool, good. Well, so?
Man, babe. You know, you're very lucky with this, my guy. The guy looks like a very big boy. Let's just say he's one of my upcoming hot meals, you know. Hmm. He's a big girl, you know. Hot meal chick. Not you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, girls. I want to go fresh now. Because someone is coming to take me. Just yes, see you see baby. You can see that girl. Yes, I'm very lucky. Yes, I'm very lucky. Yes, I'm very lucky. Yes, I'm very lucky. Yes, the guys are waiting for me downtown. You and the guys all the time, eh? And all guys do when they're together is chase women, drink and all that. Oh, come off it, baby. You know I'm not like that. Come on. If you look at all the things you bought for me today, eh? At least call me, let me show you some appreciation, please. Oh, that's a worry, baby. Mm -hmm. I've got to hurry now. Maybe some other time. All right, I spend the whole weekend with you. Does that make you happy? You promise? Cross my heart. Sure. Trust me. Alright. Okay then. Mm -hmm. Stay away from all the women. Trust me, baby. <laughs> all right, take care of yourself too, yeah. honey. me with gifts and he is financially okay. Hmm. You can say that again. At least with all those gifts it just showered on you. Oh, I wish I wanted to find a man like that. Anyway, so what seems to be the problem? The problem is that he does not want to settle down. And I want him. I so much crave for him. I am willing to make him settle down with me no matter what it takes. Besides, he has all the qualities I want in him. <laughs> How do you intend to make a guy who is not ready to settle down change his mind? Uh, are you planning on using some diabolic means? No. Call it divine intervention. Fred might be a playboy, but I will make him settle down with me. Definitely. So, how do you intend to achieve that? This is a secret, Lucy. There is this man of God that I know. He can fast and pray so that God will grant you your heart desire in all you seek for, as long as it is for good. But the only thing there is that the man will want your man's pictures. <laughs> so you want to take your man's photograph to the Juju house just for marriage, right? It is not a juju house or whatever you call it, Lucy. It is just a fasting and prayer session so that God who grants me my heart desires, bless him in his business, we will settle down, get married, instead of him jumping around. But the 
only problem there is that the man will sleep with me before everything will work well. Really? Yeah. Well, I don't really see anything wrong in that. Really? I mean, as long as you have what you want. Oh, you know, you know, I'd love to see you get married. Yeah. At least I'm sure I'm going to be the maid of honor. That's it, girl. <laughs> Don't worry, you will see everything will work out in due course by the time I am the moon. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> so I think we should do a little bit of celebration. Yeah. Before then, let me go and match make my new wardrobe. <laughs> go now. Thank you, love. There's a lady here to see you. She said her name is Lucia, and it's Jessica's friend. Jessica's friend? Yes, sir. All right, let's hire him. Okay, sir. She must have asked you to meet her up in my office here. Yeah. Unfortunately, she just left. <sighs> Actually, uh, I haven't come to see Jessica. It's you I have come to see. And it's very important. I hope there's no problem. It's everything all right? Unfortunately, there is a problem. It's a matter of life and death. And it concerns you. I don't understand. What, what happened? You see, you have showered Jessica with so much love, care and attention. And we, her friends, are all full of praises for you. But 
Jessica seems to think otherwise. She thinks you've not done enough for her. And she thinks that it's high time you emptied your bank account for her. I don't understand. Is this some kind of joke or something? As I speak with you right now, Jessie is on her way to a spiritual house where your photograph will be used for a voodoo ritual. On the close file. You can't be serious. If you doubt me, come with me. Let me take you there. <laughs> the place looks like a church, but trust me, it is no church. I can take you there if you want me to, right now. This whole thing sounds so strange to me. I mean, it sounds so foreign. For Christ's sake, why, why would Jessica want to do a thing like that? After all I've done for her. <laughs> well, such is life. But as they say, sin is believing. I would suggest you come with me. Let me take you there. So you see things for yourself. You know, I mean, I'm just being concerned. I mean, I'm doing all of this because we all have seen, you know, the level of commitment, the kind of love you've shown to her. And I think she should be grateful. But no, she's not. Well, I'm sorry to say this, but the truth is that Jesse is evil. Here. You have to go in there alone. Look, Lucia, there is nothing to be afraid of. You have to come with me. I want Jessica to see you as I cut her red handed. Look, there is no point. I don't want her to know that I brought you here. I'm doing this because I'm trying to save your life and not because I want to bring an enmity between us. This is where she is. Just go in there right now. You'll see her. Please no. do not tell her I told you this. Please. You're, you're right. You're right. I, I will be alone. No worry. I'll take care of that. That's it. Sure, you've seen that sign, brother. Just go straight down. Just go straight down. Straight down. Straight down. Straight down. Let's go. 
Come a long way. Who is tearing us apart? Who? I'm sure that very soon he will come falling on his knees, begging you to forgive him. But until then, you have to go on with your life. What did I do? What did I do to deserve all this? Now the news making the round town is that I wanted to use him for money rituals. <laughs> what still baffles me is how or 
What else did Fred get to know that I was at that prayer center? How? You know how those men behave, especially when they are tired of a relationship. Maybe he was snooping around you and then he found out you were going out and decided to trace you to where you were going to. But I don't think that should bother you right now. You should be bothered with moving ahead with your life and probably getting a new man. What's new man? What's new man, Lucy? Fred is my life. He is all I want. I don't want any other new man. <laughs> I don't want. <laughs> Have some biscuits. If you ask me, I don't think it's worth boring over. Here. Please, Lucy. I don't want biscuits. I'm not in the mood to eat anything. Please. <laughs> in fact, if a man says he doesn't want you again, why would you want to kill yourself? He said he doesn't want you again. I think it's that easy. I think it's that easy. Look, forget about Fred, okay? Forget him. He's in your past now. It's not that easy, Lucy. He's try, not. Try, try harder. <laughs> There's a lady waiting to see you. before she died and the father nobody knows who the father was no wonder. i think you should just be very you know grateful to god that you are alive today all thanks to you girl for saving my life but then we reserve all that let's go for lunch okay we'll talk about other things over there all right no way i'd rather come over to your house and make you a beautiful dinner i'm sure you'll need it Especially now that your woman is no longer with you. <laughs> Try me. I'll shock you. I see. So. Well, I have to go to the market now so I can get some fresh ingredients. You know, make you something really tech. You serious? Alright, tell me, what would you like to cook? I am not saying it's going to be a surprise. All right, I'll get you some money, okay? Okay. Good. What's this? 
all of this for just one pot of soup? Nah. Okay. You keep this. This will be enough for what I want to do. Alright. So, um, you're coming back here and then we can go home together. Right. If that's what you want, fine. Yeah. I'll see you later. Bye. First time in my life, a woman sees money. It's too much. This girl must be from heaven. Right. I'll find out for myself. Man. You have no idea what Fred meant to me. He was my life. We were going to get married. I know. You have to get over it. There are other men out there who are better than Fred. Come on. Put yourself together. Be strong. How do you expect me to be strong? Eh? When the only man that is my strength is gone. How do you expect me to start all over again? Fred was my soul and my body. How am I, how am I supposed to start with another man? Where will I start from? <laughs> it's okay, stop crying. Get your tears, it's okay. No, I 
I must go to see Fred tonight so that he will explain to me why I had to hold my feelings like this. No, 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 Jessica, you can't do that. <laughs> it is over, can't you see it? You'll we'll be making a fool of yourself by going over to beg him when he should be the one begging you. Where is your bride, girl? Fred is my bride. And he is going to explain to me tonight why he did this to me. Oh God, I will do this thing to Kakani and hurt my feelings like that. I'm afraid. 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 I'
I will make sure she does not near this place again. She will not right? kill you. No, she She's a witch. Yes, the mother, the mother was also a witch, but you know. Oh, God. Sorry. Oh, God. 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 O
you and you and I have something special together. That should go we, ahead. We're so happy with each other. At least with me, you're very sure that you have somebody who truly loves and cares about you. Sweetie, what? Oh, get your hands off me. Now you read my lips. I don't want to have anything to do with you anymore. So do not bother coming around here to look for me. Do you get that? Fred. You have just the count of three to get out of this premises. Out! Fred, what has come over you? What is the problem? Out! Get out! Out! There must be something others are doing that I am not doing. Even with a loan, see what I could get for myself. Whereas someone like Kate, as ugly as she is, has a well-furnished apartment. What does she have for a man to give her? A hundred thousand naira per night. Hmm. Since I left Jessica's place, I have not heard ordinary hello from any man. Each time I skim my way to the top, the ladder slips and I come crashing down. I have to take a drastic step and hit it big this time. those documents later. she was coming over for some business meeting and um, I promised I was going to pick her up so we could do lunch together. She isn't here, is she? Well, no. I Actually, she, she doesn't work here. She only comes around to see a friend of hers. <sighs> Chief, you know something? You seem a very interesting person to me. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind um, 
you know, making out some time so I could get to know you better. Hey, I'm new in town, okay, but looking at you, I know that you're the kind of guy that I would love to hang around with. Well, I'm sorry. I'm a married man with three kids. And I respect my wife a lot. So I I don't have time to play around. Play around? Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on that too. If you and I get to spend some beautiful time together, I don't think that would be playing around. You see, it would be something that I would, um, you know, something I would treasure. Something I hold close to my heart. You see? Hey, don't worry. Nobody else has got to know. Just you and I. Well, I know you're the kind of guy that will do anything to make sure you don't arouse the suspicion of your wife. Trust me. I'm your girl. Thanks for the buffer. Now, get out of my office. Please, leave right now. Maybe I came, I came uh, you know, at, the wrong, at the wrong time, but look, I don't bite, okay? I won't hurt you. Just relax. I'm sure you and I can have fun together, you know? <laughs> now listen. I'm listening very good. Before I call in the security, get out of my office. I know that probably I... I said... Get out of my office! So he knows that he's married, yet he's having a secret affair with Kate and refuses to date me, yet he chose to embarrass me. I will make him pay. He must surely pay. First, I'll have to trace his wife. I know what to do. and my brother's wife. They are using one office that belongs to one of your husband's friends. Uh, they call him Michael. Hey. Yes, I know Michael. You mean my husband is having an affair without your so-called brother's wife using Michael's office and I don't even know? When I heard this thing, I did not believe. But I found out for myself. <laughs> my brother stays abroad. But whenever he comes back, <laughs> that girl is leaving. <laughs> now come. How did you find out about them? This girl was 
all of a sudden spending large sums of money. So my family decided to investigate her. Can you imagine? <laughs> Look, there is no point boring you with long stories. If you doubt me, on Friday, 12 p.m., just go there and see things for yourself. <laughs> hey, Chief. I just hope this is not true. If you love your husband, you better do something about this. Because if any member of my family catches him, hmm, he will not be alive to tell the story. Thank you, my sister. God bless you. I just hope this is not true. Chief, if I find out and it is true, only the devil is going to be proud of what I'm going to do to you. Nonsense. My sweetheart Richard. He's the CEO of Flatuya Oil PLC. And Richard meets my friend Lucia. She's into marketing. Nice to meet you. It's my pleasure. <laughs> ah, do sit down. Thank you. So, what's up? You're, you're not dressed for the outing. Oh, sweetheart, I'm so sorry. I wasn't expecting you so sudden. Okay, just hold on a minute. I'll be back in the chief, okay? It's alright. But I'm trying to see how the place. Go keep me coming my dress up, please. Wait, okay. This must be a hot meal, you know. Now. <laughs> Are you sappy? <laughs> Go and keep me coming my dress up, please. And please. keep me coming. No problem. No problem. I'm sorry. Ngozi <sighs> says she'll be with you in in a few minutes. It's all right. Thank um. You. You must have a very tight and busy schedule considering the nature of your job, right? Well, I still have time to relax, as you can see. Mm. I see. Um, where, do you, where are you based? As in, where do you stay? Stay in Lagos or Abuja? Yeah, I actually shuttle between Port Harcourt and Abuja. Uh, well, at the moment, I'm trying to you know, relocate my head office to Abuja so that I can settle down here and then allow to be running around. Mmm, that's beautiful. Uh, and that, uh, I mean, <laughs> your gap tooth is, is, is beautiful. I, I like it. Thank you, and, and you look cute. Really? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. 
That's my car. Ooh. Wow, this is nice. <laughs> Thank you. Sweetie. Sweetie. Baby. Yeah. <coughs> Baby, I'm sorry to disturb you. Let me see. I have this big problem that I want you to help me out with. So what is it? I, I hope it's something I can handle. Of course it's something you can handle. You see, it's about the place I'm living. It's not comfortable at all and you know, there's no privacy and all that. And there's this other place that I I'm trying to get. You know, if 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 I had a more comfortable place, you wouldn't have to come and waste money in a hotel. You understand? So, how much are you looking at? Um, uh, uh, three hundred thousand. Uh, no, no, no. <clears throat> Four hundred and fifty thousand. No, let's just say 600,000 Naira. 600,000? Yes. It's baby, you see, this this my friend. Eh? She has a, a plasma TV in her room. And she's always bragging about it. I want to let her know that whatever she, her boyfriend can give to her, that my own can give me even more than that. You understand? It's okay, but you know I don't work about with that kind of money, so I will give you a check for Monday. Oh, sweetie, I don't mind the check. Alright. Thank you very much. Oh, you're a sweetheart. You're so sweet. Thank you. Baby, 
Guess what? what? In fact, I really want to know what's going on. Going on? How? At the bank today. That girl that normally comes to spend weekend in your house tendered a check for 450,000 naira issued by your Richard. What are you talking about? How did she get Richard's check? I was even expecting to see both of you. How did she get Richard's check? She doesn't know Richard that much. I don't know. The whole thing looks fishy to me because that particular account, Richard has not used it for a very long time. And there's no time in it. The only time they met was when Richard came here and she was here. Single, you have to be very careful. Because I hear that friend of yours specializes in snatching guys from their girlfriend. Lucia, snatch my child from me over my dead body. In fact, when she comes, oh, she's going to tell me how she got the chest check. You better act fast then. I beg your pardon? You thought you won't tell me? You thought I wouldn't know what secret games are? No wonder they ask me about Richard, Richard, Richard all the time. Look, I don't know what you're talking about. Stop pretending! Richard told me everything. I live in your soul, she's so hey! Is that why you're shouting at me like that? Huh? Is that why you're shouting at me as if I forced him? Look, you better go and tell that to he good my friend to keep away from me. You should stop following me around. No, 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 she got here. Why am I even wasting my saliva on this one? Eh? Because you do know what? You can jump into the lagoon for all I care. Go to hell and go to ashes if you like that. Because it's okay. It's okay. Lucia, what you did was bad. You better apologize to Ngozi, okay? Turn the fire in your mouth. I apologize to with this one. What was that? What did I do? Did you hear her? I don't believe you. Yes. slept with me and fooled me with an empty check. God, I have made a fool of myself again. He took advantage of me. Ah, men, men. This will never happen to me again. But how do my friends manage to get all those stuff from their men? When it's my turn, they either use and dump me or completely embarrass me. How do they do it? What is it they have that I don't have? Why am I going through all this? Supermarket. This year, love, my fiance, Steven. Steven, this year, my schoolmates. <laughs> nice to meet you. How do you do? How do you do? <laughs> ah, I hope you're taking very good care of my friend. Of course, he is. Actually, got the supermarket for me. 
Hmm. If you got this for her while she's still in school, I can imagine what you'll get for her when she graduates. Come on, it's nothing much. Uh, Just a little birthday gift. Oh, really? It's, it's lovely. Uh, well, uh, ladies, uh, you have to excuse me. Let me give you a moment to catch up on all times. Uh, yeah. Here we go. What's going So, how is school? My dear, school is fine. Uh, but I have a problem. My statistics lecturer. Dr. Fala? Yes. Who oh, does he want? He wants to sleep with you before he gives you a pass mark. Lucia, how did you know? <laughs> My dear, we have all traveled that road, don't forget. My dear, I don't know what to do. She know I'll be graduating this year. And after that, Stephen and I will leave for Canada. If I don't pass this course, that will mean an extra year for me. Stephen will be so disappointed. Uh, so, what do you intend to do? I'm confused. I've told him I'm engaged, but he will have none of it. He said if I don't come to one landscape hotel on Friday at about 3 p.m. to see him, I should count myself an extra year student. Hmm. If I were you, do you know what I'll do? What? I would sleep with him. You see her? Yes. I beg your pardon. My fiance will just kill me. If you don't tell him, who will? This is about your career. Please, oh, you don't want to graduate. Please, please, don't even say. Ladies. Hi, dear. Uh, can we go for lunch now? All right. I hope you don't mind joining us for lunch. Um, don't say No, no, I don't mind. All right, okay. shall we? Shall we? Yeah. Hi. Hello. Um, 
You're the guy I met with Susan the other time, right? Please, Susan's fiancé. Remember, she introduced us. <laughs> Wait, you did not take that fiancé thing seriously, did you? Why? Because Susan calls every guy she dates her fiancé, only to dump him later. Please, what are you talking about? I mean, like what happened? I just left Susan at a hotel with a guy. She introduced to me as her fiancé. Wait a minute. Are you trying to tell me that Susan, the girl I want to marry, is in a hotel room with another man? Look, I'm not supposed to be telling you this. But of course you know that all these young female undergraduates sleeping with men for money, it's no big deal for them. No, 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 I can't believe that. Well, look, I don't know, if you don't want to believe me, fine. But I'm not supposed to be telling you this. If you doubt me, you can go to the landscape hotel. 108. You'll see her there. What? Susan. Susan? In a hotel? List. Susie. Indeed. Susie. Yet he insisted on sleeping with me against my own wish. Stop that simonization. You are a great girl. A rare breed. A combination of brains and beauty. Enough. You've been quiet like this for close to an hour. Why did you do it? 
do work. I mean, I find it difficult to believe that you care for me so much that you want to sacrifice your relationship with Susan. You know, the very first time I, I set my eyes on you, I felt this this strong attraction, you know, I felt like I had found the missing part of me. It was as if God made you and I to be together. He made us for each other. I felt like I had found what I've always been looking for, you know. I, before now, I... I never used to believe in love at first sight until I met you. I, I don't know. Um, I have this urge, like you know, I couldn't stand anybody trying to hurt you. I don't know, but I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. Come on, Lucia. Are you telling me to trust another woman? To trust you after what happened? Yes, because I'm different. Of course, I can never be like Susan. Look, look at all the things you did for her. Imagine the, the love and, and, and attention you showered on her. Look at the supermarket. Yet she still cheats on you. I would never do that to you. Forgive me, Lucia. But I think you're just another woman on a mission. I think I'll go back to Susan. Stephen! Stephen, you don't know Susan. Susan is evil. I mean, she is like the devil's incarnate. You don't need a woman like that. You don't, you don't need a cheat for a wife. Think about it. You, you don't need Susan. You know what, Lucia? You're right. Thank you. But for me, the devil I know is far better than the angel I don't know. Excuse me. Steve! Steve! Susan, how much? It's not about money. I didn't do it for money. What for then? Why did you do it? Were you drunk? No, I wasn't. So why did you do it? <coughs> that man is my lecturer. Your what? <coughs> Susan, you mean you've been sleeping with your lecturers? was blackmailing you to sleep with him and you didn't bother to tell me. You didn't bother to tell me, Susan. 
<laughs> I felt your reaction was going to worsen it. <laughs> so I told Lucia, my friend. And what did she tell you? She encouraged me to go ahead. What? <laughs> she encouraged me to go ahead saying that every other girl on campus does it. <laughs> You mean your friend Lucia told you to do it, that every other girl does it? I can't believe this. <coughs> Wait a minute. It was the same Lucia that came asking me to date her. What are you talking about? <coughs> Susan, your friend Lucia was the one who told me you were in the hotel with a man. <gasps> Lucia came asking me to date her instead of you. And this same Lucia told you to sleep with your lecturer that there was nothing wrong with it. What sort of a friend is she? Oh. Oh. Such friends, they're nothing but chameleon. All right, so Susan, I love you so much. I can't do without you. If not, the relationship would have been over. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. Sorry, my baby. Sorry. It's okay. You wanted, isn't it? Lucia cost you upon the day you were born, you public dog. Me, public dog. Me and you, who is the public dog? You are cost. You know, I went to sleep with your lecturer. Oh, see who is talking. See who is talking. How many did you sleep before you turned out of school? Did you even graduate? Did you? No, tell me, Susan. Tell me. If you dare insult me again, I will strip you naked right here publicly. Strip me naked. Come on, strip me naked. Let me see. Strip me naked. Go ahead and strip me naked. This shameless thing. For your information, Stephen and I are getting married soon. As for you, the enemies you've made for yourself will come for their pound of flesh. You public dog, shameless thing. Hey, Susan, even you, even you. Hey, you soft hard, Lucia. What two times you look at Susan? those ladies walking around in campus. Some of them have husbands and fiancés that are more dangerous than the secret court members you dread. Please, it will never, never happen again. I've learned my lesson. Please, uh, tell Susie that I am very sorry for my Susan. Yeah. I'm very, very sorry. <laughs> Please, Susan will pass your course. 
Yes. She will get all the marks that are due to her. Yes. Moreover, you owe her an apology. And you have to deliver it yourself. Let's go to the VC's office. VC? Why VC? VC's office, we can settle that here, please. Settle what here. Dr. Fazer is either the VC's office or I sent you. Stupid old man, do you hear me? Come with me. Come with me. Come. She's the reason why I'm here. Where is she? Um, you know she no longer stays with us and she got a new job. Here. Yes, yes. New job? Yes. Hey! God, I thank you. <laughs> new job? What kind of job is that? Um, I really can't say. Uh, yeah. Uh, but at least you should know where her office is located now. Oh, well, we really don't know. You see, she just came in one day and packed her things. I mean all her things saying she has this new job somewhere you know you mean you mean lucy lives alone in this town yes <laughs> hey! you know, this girl has killed me hey i just hope she doesn't ruin this opportunity uh -uh, sister i have no problem 
There is no problem, my dear. It's just that someone is asking her hand in marriage and needs to see her. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know how the man and the family will take it if they know that Lucy lives alone in this big city. Well, um, <laughs> there is nothing wrong with that. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with that. You see, a lot of young girls live alone in this big city. Alone? Yeah! My dear, I understand where sister is coming from. But that won't be a problem. Uh, we can uh, always um, invite Lucia here mm. and tell them she lives with us. Yes. Oh, that would be, I would be very grateful if you can do that. Uh, 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 why not, sister? Uh, um, you know what? I'll have to go to one of her friends and find out where she is because I'll always get her through that. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. My Okay. Uh, so how was your trip? Nice. Um, nice. Come on, about to serve dinner. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let, okay. Let's go to the yes. dining room. Okay. Uh, okay. Put it this way. Please sit there. Let me go and get it. Okay, my dear. Yeah. 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 You know how it works. Everything is fine. Ah <laughs> ah. Uh -uh. She looks so fine. TV. Enjoy various genres of entertainment programming from the comfort of your home through our satellite delivered channels in your favorite languages French, English, Swahili, Sri, Igbo, Hausa, Yoruba, and so on. Afarevo Dubbing Services. With the largest number of dubbing studios in Africa, we can help you dub your videos to major languages in Africa Swahili, English, French, Yoruba, Hausa, Igbo, Wolof, Zulu, and so on. Afarevo YouTube, the largest YouTube partner in Africa, with over 500 channels of top African entertainment and millions of eyeballs daily, we help thousands of video creators make money on YouTube. Afarevo, the revolution is on.